It's doodle butt time. Today I got this Bauer fountain pen. The exact description, I had to write it down here, is the Bauer Sober, is in brackets, fountain pen, black stripe, lacquer barrel, silver trim, stainless steel, medium nib, office school signature, A2, uh, A, sorry, it's the A6259. One hell of a name. So what is up with this pen? It looks sharp in the picture. It's a whopping five bucks. So my little thumb had to go at the cart and it did and it arrived. So here we go. I have not played with this. I've taken it out of the little piece of plastic it came in and that was it so far. But just looking at it for a couple of minutes, haven't even inked it. I, you know, it does look sharp for five bucks. What do you expect? And this is, I think this will be as good as you get for five bucks. I was impressed with the clip. Like this kind of reminds me of a Faber Castell, just the profile a little bit, and also uh, in kind of German fashion, the clip. If you can see that, it's a pivot dealy, so it pivots up here. Can we see that? How oh, it goes in? Uh, uh. So I've noticed that not with all German pens, but a lot of them I. Was I'll save it for the clip video that I will do at one point. Um, a lot of them like to have a mechanical type clip instead of it just being springy. So that's actually not too bad. It's a good feel. I tried it under like my shirt real quick on and off, nice and simple, large contact pad. It's got the lip goes up enough so it's easy to get under stuff and you know, snaps down decent. Okay, that's the clip. It's uh, sort of squarish but rounded edges too. If the camera can pick it up, you see what I mean? So decent little profile on it. Again, it's lacquer with stripes. It's all painted. It's not a little, you know, there is metal on the pen, but that's not like metal stripes or nothing. Pop cap, how they do it. Okay, we can just see it there. So let me use this as the pointer, the nib. There's these three little ridges, They're kind of like little scallops around it. So that catches onto the very front of the section and it gives you a pop like that. So uh, it could be, you know, a firm one where a little bit of ink will splash out the nib if you do that a bunch. So don't be surprised if you see some ink in there. That's the whole clip mechanism is held together by that screw. But again, five bucks. What do you expect? Not too bad. Postability. It posts, but uh, pretty loose. Give it a good shake there. She's going to fall off. So as far as length, you know, my big mitts, it's a bit short. I'd like to post it, you know, so it's not too bad. Let's give you just a, what do I, uh, what do I got near here? I got a Parker 51. Let's just compare against that just for length. So a little bit longer. Well, I'll probably do a proper pen lineup in a just a brief moment. I'm not going to go crazy overboard on a $5 pen. But there you go. So it's a touch shorter than a Perker 51. Um, it's a cartridge converter. You've seen this pen a million times. It just comes in different names and different packaging. Standard dealy. Metal threads. Plastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, does this screw out or is this, I think this just pulls out. Let's, yep, there we go. Slides out. This is a number five nib, I would say. You got the Bauer, oh, isn't that the hockey skates? Oh, but no, that's B-A-U-E-R. That's the hockey skates. This is the fountain pen, Bauer, B-A-O-E-R. Standard deal. Is this keyed? Yeah, okay, so the flat spot goes onto there. Tell you which way it goes. There's the bits. I'll uh, weigh it and compare it, then we'll write with it. How much does the pen weigh? 33 and a quarter. Just the cap. Good chunk of it. So, you know, 23 grams for the pen, 10 grams for the cap. There we go. So, for a quick size comparison Faber Castella Motion, Pilot 912. Pelican M805, The Bauer, Lamy 2000, Parker 51, Montegrappa Elmo. That's capped. Let's get naked. 
there we go the caps came off so now we got a little comparison you know a little shorter than the Lamy 2000 um, shorter still than the fiber this is stout short stubby dude but you can see it's it's uh, the shortest of the bunch other than this little dude all right full of ink we got majestic blue by diamond let's see how she does so here we are this is the well let's zoom you in let's see how bad my writing is here we go this is the bower Ooh, that's juicy Bauer something 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 long fountain pen I'll put a link in the description I got it from AliExpress with a number five steel medium nib and I would say that is a medium pretty accurate assessment let's curious on this this has got some whoosh, yes you know this is pretty smooth now I, I looked at it under the loop and the right time was just a touch low and so I just had to just do a minor tweak on it let's see reverse yeah it's not great but not terrible Ooh, that's bad and oh let's um, Let's do another Canadian uh, language lesson. The word of today. Let's, uh, oh, okay, let's do this one. Ginch, or also gaunch. The plural is gaunchies. These all mean underwear. Use it in a sentence, doodle bud. So I would say maybe you're 16, it's summer break, you're out of school, it's 11.30 a.m. on a Saturday, and you're in your room, dad comes in, hey, when are you mowing the lawn? You can't just sit around in your ginch all day playing video games, or gaunch, or gaunchies, sub it in, whatever the situation warrants. But for five bucks... Pretty good, I would say. You know, the the uh, the only thing is the posting on the back isn't fantastic. If you jam it on there, it'll hold a little bit, but it's still pretty wiggly and falls off. But other than that, I mean, what more can you expect for five bucks if you want a cheap, sharp-looking, juicy steel medium nib? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's do a lot of cappy cappies. Uh, uh, uh. Ink. Uh, I'm trying to see here. I don't see any yet. Maybe over time. Okay. So maybe it doesn't even splash that much when you cap it. So five buccarinos. You can't really go wrong. Link in the description. Catch you next time. Use this this week. That's your homework, people.